honestly, how long do you think you'd last if you lived in the game in real life? And dead. But Raid Shadow Legends is eternal and will save you from your grim fate with a triple A game squeezed into a tiny mobile phone. Champions, we all love them. Raid's got nearly 700 of them. And recently they added a super cool new faction called the Sylvan Watchers. Rather than building a sprawling city on the ground or in a dark cave, the Sylvan Watchers made their home in Mistwood, a huge jungle in the east of Teleria. There's a ton of character variety in this new faction with each champion being in tune with nature in a cool and unique way. Let's showcase some of these beauties. First we have Elven Autumnborn, the sexiest tree root you've ever seen. King Galgaba, elegant, especially with a spiked staff of impending death. And Green Warden Ruark, a more elegant Sylvan Watcher for a more civilized time. Oh, and this is for the new players from the US. Rate prepared something special for you. It's time to vote on your favorite starter champion. Download Rate Shadow Legends from the links below and copy your in-game player ID. Then go to this link, championselect.polarium.com. Simply enter your player ID and then vote your chosen champion. The vote runs out from January 16th to February the 10th with all eligible entrants being in with the opportunity to win some awesome in-game and real life prizes, including epic and legendary champions, in-game items, and even Amazon gift cards worth up to $1,000. Once the vote ends, February the 10th, one champion will be crowned the winner, and the prize winners will be selected via a draw. And don't worry, if you're not an existing raid player, you can still get involved. Just head to championselect.polarium.com where you can find a special promo code that everyone could use and a small in-game gift. So new players, use my link below or scan the QR code right here and get a free start pack with this cool in-game loot. And if you've been living under a rock, you may not know that MMA and pro wrestling megastar Ronda Rousey has made an exciting leap into the world of raid with a very own champion. And you can get Ronda by simply logging in for seven days before February the 20th, and that's all there is to it. To celebrate her arrival, you can use the promo code RAID RONDA to get a bunch of useful endgame items to help level her up. Just enter the promo code in game and all of the goodies will be sent straight to your inbox. I'll see you in game. Where you'll probably lose. Who said that? It's true. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome back to another ASMR feast and we move aside from the KFC buckets and, and the KFC just a collection of as many chicken sticks as we find and we've headed over to the other brand on the other side of the spectrum with McDonald's and we are going to just eat a huge McDonald's feast and of course for one we love ASMR eating triggers there's so many crunchy nice delicious sounds to be found in junk food which is a bonus for me because that's pretty much my entire diet junk food i'm not proud of it <laughs> but we've got a delicious feast so let me talk you through what we've got today we have one sprite zero sugar large we have one strawberry milkshake large just to make it, well, you'll see later. We have curry sauce. We have a barbecue dip sauce. We have tomato ketchup and only two of it for some reason. I need about six at least. And then we have chicken nuggets, 20 chicken nuggets. So this is a sharing pack for one person. And then we have a chicken crispy burger, which I think it's new just in there as well. We have our favorites, the crispy chicken selects and two large chips which apparently a large but will be the judge of that and so if you enjoy ASMR eating or if you enjoy eating in general like me always use these as a thing to fall asleep to don't know why I find it incredibly satisfying and I don't know what the word is, but to watch someone eat, it's immense satisfaction and I know they're getting satisfaction and enjoying their food. So hopefully there's a bit of that portrayed in there. 
this tingles and ASMR triggers throughout and you just generally have a good time whilst I do the eating and enjoy <laughs> so people who aren't maybe new to this sort of thing I don't think anyone by this point would be um, yeah, this is what we do to fall asleep we delve into all sorts of things let's get rid of this box to be honest, when I got that box it did look like it was going to be just this humongous thing I mean, if one is to look at what we have presented with at the moment I must say that yeah, there's quite a nice collection array of food and it all looks exceptionally delicious and nice. So we'll start off with little starters for a strawberry milkshake. A little bit melted, but beautiful. And we move straight on to the starters of the starters. This is what I used to do when I was a kid. I used to have a tremendous amount of fun doing that and then just eat the chip. with a bit of strawberry milkshake in there as well. Don't know why I used to do that, but it still tastes just the same. I think I was about 11 or 12 when I started doing that. Or maybe seven, not entirely sure. But it's a tradition I like to uphold. All right, let's move you here and we'll just enjoy it as we go throughout. I made the very foolish triggers made the very foolish idea of not really eating anything today for some reason and it got delayed more and more and more and then I decided that I'd eat some chocolate coins before and uh, and some toast <laughs> why I did that now before eating this I don't know why but I think a feast like this it would be easily handled by me so let's open our array of dips which clearly aren't going to be enough but we'll, we'll humour the dips we might as well just open them all it's just easier that way remember how long ago it was when I started the sort of eating feast series but it is it feels like a, a classic already which is kind of strange right let's start for McDonald's it feels like for me for me anyway holiday vibes so we go or if I go over the channel or under the channel over to Europe wherever I never find chicken slugs there McDonald's but there's always chicken nuggets and the nuggets are always just as good even though they're probably not as tasty as to select when you get a large quantity like this then I think collectively they're very satisfying and, and rather young But it's kind of like a ritual if staying at a hotel somewhere I think when I was in Belgium I did this that was a couple of years ago I went down to the Christmas market which was pretty awesome and then in France that's a ritual I can't remember if I did it in Italy Greece, I think I've done it in Greece, 
or maybe not in Greece actually. But literally everywhere I've stayed in the UK as well. The end of the night, you go for dinner, blah blah blah, have a great time. And then you feel compelled because you're on holiday to continue the feasting and there's literally one place that you end up going to and you order 20 chicken nuggets to have in bed and then stick the TV on. <laughs> it's really bad. And then you sort of fall asleep with this very full digesting stomach of chicken nuggets. But it's, it's fun. <laughs> I've got problems every single time. If I go for dinner or anything, dinner time, I put on a new shirt or something. I think within the first five minutes, something will spill on there. I am one of those people. I don't know why it happens. I could try so hard every single time without fail. It will just happen. things I like with McDonald's is their chips. I've always been the same. I don't think it's ever changed. The problem is to get from McDonald's to my studio. There's a little bit of a delay time so chips do go soggy. Not as crispy as one would hope. Before Christmas, it can't have been that long ago. And there is a playlist for all of my eating ASMR videos of all the bad places that you can order. I say bad, unhealthy, but exceptionally delicious. If you enjoy that. thing with the KFC. It always has nice like bits in there. Some bits are like really crispy and some aren't quite so crispy. But then you have the corn on the cob which I don't know why it's just so perfect <laughs> when you have the KFC and it's always I always have it at the end when you should really have it at the start just to get the some sort of nutrients first. those wrappers make. And to me they always always sound better.
feast and I'm literally th just thinking in my head, not a problem. I think I was beaten by the KFC last time, but this, I think I can do it. some curry dip with that. sort of happy junk food place that we like to go to but I'm curious to know what your guilty pleasures are because I will be the first to say no, mine certainly is a chicken feast either by KFC or McDonald's and they're always too very different vibes going on. I love taking a McDonald's into the cinema. I think it's sort of you can you know where things are. Been in the KFC bucket, you never know. And then you always have the risk of getting a chicken thigh, which is just of course you'd have to walk out the cinema at that point. Gosh, that's refreshing. <laughs> but I think if I'm watching a big Brockmaster movie or something like that, every single time, it would be opting for. KFC every time. KFCs, I think, always go perfect. Perfectly. With the sort of at home vibes with a big blockbuster movie. We all know that one. And that's the KFC vibe for me. McDonald's is kind of just like instant happiness in a load of small boxes. I'm so hungry still. Seriously. Is this it? Is this all you can conjure, Ronald?
du kan blive vej for grunde, hvis du må bakke et løs. But in America, in the States, I feel like your McDonald's have all sorts of... Now that's the trick, because fizzy drink will definitely fill you up, for sure. so good even though your sort of five a day intake is quite minimal it's just so satisfying I suppose one of the things, some things which I like filming, filming on my ASMR channel. Like, I really get into role plays and character role plays. I find I don't really have <laughs> much time where I can actually just talk to you. About anything other without breaking character or something. I kind of like the deco ones, it's, it's a good opportunity to just talk here some more stuff to you. enjoy the sounds. So I'll do a slightly alternative this my thing. But the question is, are you filling up yet, Fred? And the answer is no. video the last eating one I was talking about those mukbang videos where they eat things which look like stuff and I said if anyone knows what it is or where you can get them in the UK and write it down in the comments but I don't think I'll I saw anything. And I mentioned it. And that's still something that I'd like to try a feast of food which looks like objects or something like that. Because they do make really, really good sounds. Very satisfying sounds. And all those videos which I've, I've watched and I've fallen asleep to them many times before I suppose when I used to go to the gym then you are aware of sort of dieting we should be about life style health health thinness and lifestyle choices <laughs> anyway you should know what's good for you and things I got to happily say <laughs> I'm probably on to get in my five a day with this. But once I've had a takeaway, 
then I'll need some rest times or work it off via some form of exercise. I think that's more of a peace of mind thing. sitting there maybe because I feel scared that if I eat it then it's gonna fill me up because of the bread <laughs> seriously if you don't have milkshakes with your McDonald's I just don't know why it's so refreshing but it so doesn't go <laughs> see the satisfaction or hear it and get triggered by it because there's immense satisfaction going on right now Considering you said it was a, a big tasty crispy or big crispy or whatever it was and it's taken a while for me to eat it and it was delivered as well and it could have gone soggy and cold and it's still crispy and delicious. Very impressive. 
Christ. It just goes so well with the chips, in my humble opinion. Where I've got my microphone set up, I feel like a T-Rex literally eating like that, trying not to hit them. <laughs> well, I really hope that sticks around because I think I prefer it more than the than the burgers, which I usually get. It's usually just a plain. Hamburger or a cup of them or a double. Here's the stupid thing. I would have the double cheeseburger, but without the cheese. Don't put cheese in there. It's that bread every time. Bread will always fill you up without fail. I think you know when you're. I do in a way when I do anyway in English is when I start to get warm and hot then I know it's digesting time I'm always no matter what I do I've only got to move a tiny bit and I'm boiling massive hot temperature and that's why winter time for me is always a, a point where it's you have to wear clothes out there outside but then you know if it's like one or minus one everyone will wear a coat I would but 
as soon as you start moving, or if you're walking for half an hour, then it's just a jumper. Die for me, otherwise I just get sweaty. <laughs> Charming. That's the same when I'm eating. My body or thing. Okay, that's enough. Let's uh, stick this in. It overclocks, basically. sort of neglected this curry sauce a bit. That definitely reminds me of Belgium. I think I went overboard with the curry sauce with the nuggets. She won. This makes me wonder how hungry am I? I was I? I knew it would happen with a good job. That was going to be an issue. I mean, two ketchups full of that. It's insane. I always think, and I'll probably say this in every eating video which I've done, but the untrained. If you're landing on a video of someone just eating with microphones next to them and they had no idea what ASMR was then and I know that happens but I think it's one of those things for me I'm always on the hunt <coughs> for ASMR triggers And whether it's not specifically ASMR and someone does it, you know, they just enjoy food, then I'll get just as much satisfaction about seeing someone passionate about something. That gives me, it's kind of like these different satisfying triggers, kind of the same sort of triggers I get when I build Lego. It's sort of different, and I love seeing people passionate about things it just makes me happy so then I'd, I'd watch it and then I'd get the normal ASMR triggers in there just because usually when people are passionate about things the, their demeanour is quite sort of relaxing enthusiastically relaxing when someone really loves something that joy it just yeah, I'd, I'd feel that so I watch a lot of types of videos which aren't ASMR related, like people getting bespoke suits or people
organ, bespoke, you know, anything to do with old school fashion stuff or anything like that. And there's channels on there which I love, and and toy reviews, and and figure reviews, and Star Wars reviews. People that love stuff, Lego stuff, and then that's even amongst all the SMR videos which I watch as well before to sleep too. And I always like watching people react to stuff as well. And it just watching someone watch something they really enjoy. Look in my description, you'd probably go forward to the right place then. <laughs> then, will give me ASMR, but also, if it's something I'm passionate about, like obviously Star Wars, and there's a scene in there, I will get the full body chills, shivers, chills, shivers, head triggers, and like the works, because that's something. I I'm exceptionally passionate about it. I love and have the bonus of ASMR. So I can easily fall into it if I'm watching a scene which I love, which I'll never forget that Luke Skywalker moment in the Mandalorian then. I will get hit with that euphoric thing. And I've got the same when I watch that episode of the Mandalorian. someone has to do is to mention or even hint at Star Wars and then I'm off. I'm ready to take up the next hour of your life talking about it and giving my in-depth discussion about the said topic. start of this, did you think that Fred would be able to handle that amount of McDonald's? It was quite a huge feast. I think I will title it a huge feast. It was pretty big. Every portion was a meal. Every meal was a large as well, which is pretty cool. And so large milkshakes there too, and drinks. This was back up. <laughs> but yeah, maybe I should call it quits. <laughs> Just because I wouldn't want you to think that maybe do eat a little bit too much. I'm one of those people who can, once I get into eating something which I like, like chocolate biscuits and, and hot chocolates, there's never, I've never been able to get rid of that, but anything else, I'll have a period of it. And then I'll obviously look at myself and think, what have you done for it? Then I can quite easily, you know, one meal a day, and then it's you're hungry for the rest of the day and night until I'm back at the appropriate Fred, shall we say? Now I feel like perhaps after this, I should really probably take a look in the mirror and um, and look. This has been something that you've got. Plenty of triggers from. And leave all your recommendations for future ASMR feasts. It doesn't have to be local. I'm sure I'd find a way. But if you suggest anything, then I'll look into it because I do love eating ASMR videos. And if you enjoy them too, then it's something which 
I'm quite happy to make. It's kind of a weird thing because I suppose if I was to be walked in here, yeah. I think, well, there's just a guy eating in front of a camera. It's always pretty cool to think that it's kind of like you just go out for dinner and having a good time, and that's hopefully what you get to convey to you when we do these. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. And at this point, you fully drink it up, or oh, yeah. fully ready for bed and tired and feeling good. No, I'm going to leave that so. Once again, we haven't completed the challenge, which means we will have to accept another challenge. Fred, why did you eat all that? I'm just going to have to deal with the instant regret for a while. At least I've got my milkshake pudding and Sprite. Yeah.